I've always been a little crazy. Well, a lot crazy, but you know. I think this actually works. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> oh, this is bad. This is bad. I'm gonna have to fix it first before we do anything. Greetings and salutations. My name is Oracult and welcome to my sanctuary. It is Christmas today. I won't say Merry Christmas because this won't go out on Christmas and it will come out God knows when. But anyway, I would like to welcome everyone and I hope you had a great holiday season whether you celebrate Christmas or you celebrate Yule or whatever it is that you celebrate. Everyone is absolutely most certainly welcome here and I especially welcome my subscribers who got me to 500 subscribers. Thank you very much. I hope you participated and won in the giveaway. All those items by the time this comes out would have been shipped out and some of you may have received them, some of them probably not because a lot of people are overseas and it takes ages, ages to get there. So fingers crossed for that and if you're new here and you've just found this channel I welcome you and I hope you enjoy this video and stick around. So what I was going to do today was a Christmassy kind of look and voila, here it is. And I <laughs> kind of screwed it up a little bit, as you can tell it looks a bit weird. But, you know, I kind of make it work, I hope. And as for the headpiece, I mean, when can you wear it, right? <laughs> if it's not in a video and it's not on Christmas. I mean, it's kind of cool, but I obviously don't walk around in it. But, you know, it looks kind of cute. So I thought I'd just go for it. And I still have my Christmas nails done by the awesome Tina from Misty Nails. And I love them. So I'm all in sort of red and with bats and my dress has bats and my husband gave me this gorgeous necklace so I just opened it this morning and I'm super happy. But I also received the most amazing presents from our friends from Holland and they send like the best things ever and they once sent me like the massive massive bloodlust palette. I did a video on that which is linked up here but now they just literally like carried on with that tradition that they've done i hope you carried on with that guys but uh just kidding but yeah look lock it powder foundation by kvd and the little a little it's actually quite a big blush everlasting blush from kvd as well what was the color on that rosebud it's just it's these are so pretty and the packaging is amazing so i thought why not then do a Christmas makeup look and I wasn't planning on it but when I got this stuff I was like oh, I really really have to so I thought I'd do a full face of KVD for you. I don't have all the items I think I was missing a few things but I'm I think the only thing I'm not using that's KVD is a bit of concealer and the brow product. I do have KVD brow products but I just had the brows already done so I just kind of went with it but apart from that pretty much everything else is KVD. I dug out an old palette that I've had and don't use enough. If you like this look and want to see how I did it stick around and watch for the disastrous eye makeup. I apologize in advance in case there's any noise because, well, we... everyone's at home and it's Christmas and I don't normally film during the day. I always, always, always film when everyone's, well, the kids are in bed. But today there might be screaming, so I apologize for that in advance. Anyway, what we're gonna do today, so we're gonna do a full face of KVD, right? So we need... I thought we'd use this bad baby here, which is the beautiful Saint and Sinner palette, which has all sorts of colors. So hopefully this will cover off my requirements of doing just red and green, because that's kind of what I want to do. And I wanted to use the one palette. I do have a few KVD palettes, but I wanted to just stick to one, just to make things nice and simple. And how pretty is this? Like, this is so pretty. I love this. This has always been one of my like favorite works of art, basically. <laughs> I don't think, obviously, you can probably buy this anymore anywhere. This doesn't have like green green, but I might go with the sparkly kind of... Yeah, I'll make it work somehow, I hope, but it does look really pretty. I really like it, and I think it's a very good sort of mood for Christmas, so I will try that one. And obviously I will try the new stuff I got from my mate. So it turns out what I don't have 
by KVD is I don't actually have any KVD concealer but what I'm going to do is use this I think it's True Portrait Foundation which is quite light. I'll try and use that see if that works I do have the brow pomade as well but that pomade I never really used a lot of. I always bought it as more of a like primer for again eyeshadow because I've seen people do that. Put it in as ooh, that actually that does seem like that's a good idea. I actually have this ginormous KVD mirror I got second hand somewhere. It's really cool. It even has like little stars there. So I'm gonna use that. Hopefully, yeah, you can still see me, so that's fine. So yeah, we'll just put that on. And of course, I had no clean brushes. Luckily, there's this local store called Beauty Bliss that I buy stuff from as well. And they have the most amazing brand there called Carousel. I think it's a local brand that they do. And they have the best makeup brushes ever. Like for the price point, I think they're like literally the best. So I bought a heap of those because they were having like a big sale. Let's start with this color here called Amen. Might go darker, but we'll see. This is actually just kind of covering up. Nah, that's not a good one. Uh, there's Baptism, which is slightly darker. Let's see if that works. Uh, again, kind of not doing anything, but... I might as well match it under both eyes. Yeah, it does. Nothing? Okay. We're gonna use this color called Exodus. Like the very, very green one. Because I can't really find a shade that's transition, transition here. So we're just gonna go straight into the green, shall we? Ooh, that's actually really nice. It's quite light. You can almost get away with it probably as some sort of a highlighter. But I'm liking it so far, so we'll just build that up and then build a darker green on top. And then on the lid can potentially go red. Oh, it looks very neon, I like it. Very kind of 80s. I like 80s, as you all know. What is everyone doing for Christmas? Like, I hope everyone had a great holiday. We're having a fantastic time. We've opened presents and then we'll have the in-laws dropping around. Uh, but yeah, pretty quiet. Maybe do some filming and stuff like that. We're, and then once this period is over, we're just gonna start packing like crazy. And look what my dear husband got me. How stunning is that? It's an alchemy piece. I've always wanted this. We're doing really well, so... Put down in the comments below what you're up to, if there's anything special you're doing, anyone you're seeing, anywhere you're going. And yeah, we'd love to hear from you guys. And thanks everyone who participated in the giveaway. Winner number one, your stuff is already on the way, as I've informed you previously. Thank you so much. And you live in the same country, so hopefully we'll get there really, really quick. And everyone else, I will post your stuff as soon as it opened. That would have happened by the time this video comes out. It does take a while, so I warn you right now, it takes from Europe currently, if you just send things normal posts to New Zealand, it takes about six weeks. So, you know, if you're sitting there in the States and I'm not gonna ship it express or anything like that, and it will, t it can take from, you know, four weeks to eight weeks, easy. Uh, it's happened before when I tried to order stuff from the States that just went, you know, normal post, so yeah. Now we're gonna go in with a deeper green. I'm not quite sure if this is actually gonna be green or more blue, but this color here called Vestment, this one just there, kind of looks like that, so we'll see what happens. And if I screw it up, it won't be the first time. It is quite green now. We're gonna go in with something red. Of choices, there is Rosary and Stigmata. 
I think I'm gonna go with Stigmata, just because it's more red-red, and this looks more like has pinkish undertones, and I don't quite want that. And I really like this relic. We're gonna use this relic for some highlighting and stuff since it is kind of Christmas look, so... Not bad. Looks like it's missing something. Technically this is cheating a little bit, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer here and I'm gonna do a line. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but I'm gonna do like a line. And then I'll take that gold color relic. I think this actually works. Hmm? Cool. Okay, let's do the other eye. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna have to fix it first before we do anything. As usual, this eye is much better than that eye. I'll try and fix that a little bit if I can with the green. Just... Then we're gonna go and do, there's this very bright white color called Absolution. I'm gonna add it over there. It looks a bit crazy. I wonder if eyeliner will help. I'll add eyeliner. Okay, I don't know if the eyeliner really helped, but I think it helped a little bit. So, I was just gonna reinforce that red. It did kind of help. <laughs> it still looks really nuts. But it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's try the other KVD stuff. So that's probably it for the palette. Thank God that's over. I think it's it's interesting. I have really hooded eyes as well, so you can like see it half the time, but you know, age. I'm aging. I'm aging supposedly gracefully, I would like to think, but whether that's true or not is up to you. Okay, so let's go and do... What should we do next? We should probably try the foundation. I don't really have any KVD concealer, like I said, so I'm gonna use a little bit of concealer just to clean up that eye area a little bit. And I usually do this off cam, but since we're gonna do face anyway, I might as well just do that with, like it's an old Maybelline or L'Oreal or something like that that I need to use up as well. So I might as well do that. Right now, let's get in to try this gorgeous powder. It comes with its own little spongy thing. And how beautiful, like it has like, it's a seal. And then you open it and inside it's all nice and red. Absolutely gorgeous, and this color is light 130. I think that's actually a really good color for me, so Holland. Well done. I will just use the mirror here and just go. Whoa. I'm 
And the coverage though. Always use a power foundation anyway. So this is actually right up my alley because as you know, I'm a klutz and I struggle with things that you need to pour and things like that. I mean, I just got coffee into my eyeshadow palette, so there you go. So I tend to use things like this in the morning, especially. All I do in the morning, I do my eyebrows, I do a little bit of powder and chuck on some mascara if I have time to just run out of the door usually. So that's pretty much my go-to. But this, wow, this is just incredible. I love this. Guys, thanks so much. Like after that, the bloodlust palette you've sent, but this is just where we will be living when we move. We will have a shopping center right next door and it has KVD. Oh, I've been dreaming of trying that Apple foundation that they've released, which is kind of like a cream one, but it's not pory. You just kind of go and it's just, it looks, it looks amazing. I really want to try it, but you can't really get a hold of it in New Zealand because our Sephora here is like way god knows where and it doesn't even stock it but apparently that place will stock it so I am just beside myself and this is really good stuff ah also I forgot to put on Ew. Also, I forgot to put on my... I just really don't want to mess up my fringe. Like, I really don't want to mess it up. I just had it done and styled. And I really don't want to... I'll just try and... Uh, something like that. I hope it doesn't stay that way, though. Uh, right. I'll just do my forward really quick. And then put it back. I just need to get rid of the shine. I don't really need coverage here or anything like that. Yeah, that's, that's probably enough. Ah! Ah, it's ready to run. Hang on. Ugh. Well, this is looking pretty good. Now, now we've done that, let's try the second beautiful item here. Ah, and by the way, so for eyeliner, I use the tattoo liner. I had a mini one, and I also have a little mini uh, Go Big or Go Home KVD mascara, so I'll put that on later, but let's try this stunning little blush. I mean, the packaging, like the artwork is everything I like in art, is this packaging. Like, this is my favorite packaging of all time of anything because it's just so freaking gorgeous. Like, look at that. And look at that shade. Really nice. Very nice. So, let me just grab a mirror, because it doesn't have a mirror there. Yeah, I don't think I'm even gonna do contour or anything. I do have the KVD contour thing, but it's just somewhere and I don't wanna look for it, so I'm just gonna leave it there. But how pretty is this? It's actually turning out not as bad as I thought it was when I was looking at my eyeshadow earlier. You may have a different opinion, but I won't agree with it. Right, now, let's finish off. So let's do the mascara. Thing that's actually looking very decent now. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I have this locket little spray as well, so I'm gonna spray that and then we're gonna do lipstick. I literally just got that like straight in my eye. <laughs> I told you I was a klutz. But hopefully, it will freeze now, forever. 
I'll never get it off, buddy. <laughs> okay, I have two options for lipstick. Both are the KVD vinyl ones. One is in Holly Hawk and one is in Tulip. So the Tulip is the brighter one. I think the Tulip one is probably gonna be better because, well, it is Christmas. Oh, shit, I forgot highlighter. I forgot highlighter. Okay, I'm gonna do highlighter. Okay, I have a red pencil. It's not KVD, but I couldn't find a red one. I think the red in the eye is not enough, bright enough. But I don't think I can fix that easily. I have the Blood Countess palette here from Lovelace Cosmetics. That's just the first one I can find. And it has all these reds there. So I might try this Bloodbath one just there. That might be just what the doctor ordered. I'm gonna try dabbing a little glitter in there as well. Like this battery here. I'm not very good with these glitter ones, ever. But I think that kind of finishes it off. So yes, here we have the finished look. Ta-da! <sighs> ah, I cracked myself up. And we're back. I really, really love these two products, especially I really like the powder foundation. I really enjoy powder foundations, as I've said, and it's actually quite big as well, which is really good. And I really like the blush. I didn't even need the contour, I just did the blush, and there I am. But yeah, thanks so much, guys, from Holland, my friends. These are just stunning. I will use the hell out of them and gave me an opportunity to do a beautiful Christmas look. It really inspired me. I wasn't planning on it, but then I thought, oh my god, but I do YouTube. I have to do a Christmas look. So there you go. It does look a bit weird. It does look a bit weird. But everyone knows I'm weird, so, you know, the in-laws will just go kind of like this, like... Hmm... But they won't say anything, probably. We'll see. I'll keep you posted. <laughs> uh, anyway, with that, I hope again, that you've all had a fantastic, fantastic holiday and that you're in fact still having it, if it's still that period when this comes out. And I, yeah, I wish you all just the merriest time ever. I hope everyone is safe and everyone feels great and we will be in full packing mode very soon. So a lot of my makeup will be put in. I, I think it's all gonna take up at least a suitcase, I suspect, or something like that, because there's a lot of it. I'll have to declutter. I will be filming lots of videos around my collections of various things. So hopefully those will be out in due time as well. I have a lot of Killstar shoes, Killstar bags, goth bags, goth shoes, stuff like that will be coming up on the channel. I wish you all the very best and greetings and salutations to you and have a pleasant time today wherever you are.